Hello everyone, this is Joe Workman, and in this video, we're gonna go over Foundation's awesome new flexible navigation system. Now, what do I mean by, you know, flexible navigation uh, within Foundation? How does it differ than what I can do with existing themes and Rapid Weaver sites? Essentially, um, it allows you to do a lot of things that people have been begging me um, to figure out how to do for years. And the first thing is, placeholder navigation. So for example, if you go to Foundation's website and you notice this top level stacks, learn and samples, if you click on those, they don't do anything. They're just placeholder uh, values where you hover over and it shows the, the sub menu. So we can easily do that with this new flexible navigation built in. Now, another thing we can do is if you look at the learn, we have little labels inside of our menus. So we can easily add these labels to kind of divide our sub menus into sections. And lastly, if we look at the bottom of this, we'll notice that I have a nice divider um, to kind of create another section that doesn't have a label, but it's accented by because it has a divider there. And I also will notice that I have a divider right here between uh, my menu and my buy now button. Okay, so how can we do these things? Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing. We can also have awesome font awesome icons in our menu. So if you don't want to have words or you want words and a font awesome icon, I'll show you how to do that right now. Now, luckily, it's really easy to figure out how to do this because we've supplied you the actual project file used to build the foundation website. So once you open up the demo project that ships with the starter pack, you will see some of these page names here are a little bit different. So my home page, what I've done here is I've actually inserted the font awesome code. Now check out, we've done a great podcast on font awesome and how to figure out and use the font awesome code. Okay. So please go ahead and check that out. However, it's just a really quick snippet. In this instance, I'm using the font awesome home icon and I don't want any text. So I just simply do FA home snippet. And then I'm good to go. I have my home icon. So that covers the font awesome. Really simple. Again, check out our uh, Weaver Cash podcast that we did on font awesome. And we actually show you exactly how to do this inside the navigation. Now, how do we do placeholders? If we notice, I hovered over the stacks menu inside uh, the website and it actually didn't do anything. It was just a placeholder. So, the syntax for this is simply do uh, the name that you want and wrap it inside of a header tag. Now the page itself can be anything you want. I use an offsite page just so it kind of stands out, but it could be an HTML page or a stacks page or whatever. It's actually not going to get linked to that particular page is going to be disabled in the menu. So it's not going to do anything. But in this instance, I like using the offsite page and you simply add open tag header, the label that you want to have in there. So in, th in this instance, I wanted stacks. And then, then you close your tag with slash header. Really simple to do. Now inside of the learn sub menu, we had a bunch of interesting objects here. So first we had labels. And that was so we can actually kind of define a little section or in our sub menus, right? So here you just add Similar to header, you just add label and then the name that you want to be inside that option or the name of your label. And then you close that with a, you know, brackets, close label. And as you can have as many of these as you want. So I have features and I have the details. Now further down, if you notice, we actually had a divider. And to do that, you simply have this code here where you have basically an HR. Now in the pages slightly below those dividers, this is a perfect use case of how we actually can use both an icon and text. So the little arrows that we saw inside of the sub navigation for online manual and Zurb docs actually is the word online manual and then the font awesome arrow icon. So this is a perfect example of how you can mix a font awesome icon and text inside your navigation menus. Now, as if those awesome features weren't enough, 
we actually have even more power with flexible navigation. Now, in this example, we're going to be looking at top bar. However, these same exact settings are available in all of our navigation stacks throughout Foundation. Now, if you notice in the menu, we can do Rapid Weaver's menu, or we can actually define a custom HTML menu. If we were to define a custom HTML menu, we'll notice that we now have an HTML box that comes up and you can actually type the actual HTML code that you want to use to generate your menu. Now we have a, a quick sample here that you can definitely build off of. Now also remember that if you are gonna be using this option that you can use Stack's awesome new global content feature to actually sync that HTML across multiple web pages. This way you can define your HTML once and have it synced across all of your pages, just like you can with the global template settings. Now, most users are gonna stick with the Rapid Weaver menu. So how can we customize that even more? So by default, you have the scope is entire menu. So that's gonna show the entire menu. Now by default, the scope is entire menu. And this means that you actually have the entire menu showed up inside the web page. However, we have a lot of other options. For example, top menu only will show you just the top level elements in that menu. Sub nav only allows you to define a sub navigation menu of your choice. And then the last option is active sub nav only. And we'll go over what that is in just a little bit. But let's see what we can do with top menu only. So if I were to change this menu to be just use the top menu, we will see that my, st my stack has actually changed. I no longer have drop downs because I've told top bar to only use the top level menu attributes. Now, what can we do with sub nav menu only? When we select sub nav menu only, you get to choose the sub nav index. So by that, I mean, you're gonna say this is sub nav one, two, three, four, five. Let's say we want to have the stacks menu. Okay. I want to make sure that my sub nav index is set to one, two, three. So in this example, let's actually show you how we can do that inside the inline nav stack. So I've set my scope to be sub nav only, and I've set my sub nav index to be three, which is the index that we wanted. If we preview this page, we'll see that we get the exact sub menu that we wanted. We wanted that stack submenu to be the actual menu used on this page. Now, what about the active sub nav only option? What does that mean? So what that means is it's going to look at your existing page and it's going to see where the page lies inside the navigation hierarchy. It's then going to display the sub navigation that that page is contained within. So for example, in this particular page that we're looking at is the float page that is inside the samples navigation hierarchy. So by choosing active sub nav only, it's going to choose the sub navigation that my page is currently a part of. So if we preview this page, we will see that the navigation provided here is the sub navigation for my samples menu tree. So how are these sub nav menu options interesting? What are the use cases, some real live world use cases for these, especially the active sub nav menu? How can we use that? Well, if we look at this option using pillar and off canvas, we'll see that I have an inline nav stack at the top and it's set to have the scope of top menu only. Then if we look at the side, I have a side nav stack that is set to the active sub nav menu only. What will that accomplish for us? So what this has done is we now have two navigation options on our page. At the top, we have our active, our top level menu items. Okay. And as you see, it knows we are underneath the samples tree because it is underlined. So we know we are on that part of the website. 
then it also lists the sub navigation for that top level page on the side. And it automatically selected this because it knew that we were a part of the samples menu tree. This is a great way to have side navigation as well as top level navigation across your entire site. So I hope you've learned a little bit about the awesome flexible navigation that foundation provides you. And it allows you to really have flexible navigation options for all of your website designs really sky is the limit in terms of what you can achieve because this allows you pinpoint accuracy to get to exact menu items that you want. So I look forward to seeing what you can accomplish this and go forth and make your websites great. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <music>